Hello, 6th graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Section 8.3, Surface Areas of Pyramids Lesson. Pause while you write Section 8.3 Lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is use a net to find the surface area of a pyramid. Today we'll be starting on page 370 of your math notebook. Example 1, finding the surface area of a square pyramid. Find the surface area of the square pyramid. Use a net to find each face. If we look at the square pyramid to the left, you'll see that the bottom is 7 by 7. So that equals 49. And then we need to remember our area of a triangle formula. And that is 1 half base times height. So it gives us the height as 10 meters. So 1 half times 7 times 10 equals 35. And there are four of those. So we sum up those faces. So the bottom plus all of those faces is 49 plus 35 four times, and that equals 189. So the surface area is 189 square meters. Moving on to example two, we're going to find the surface area of a triangular pyramid. So once again, we're using that formula, area of a triangle equals one half base times height. And we're using a net, so we draw a triangle in the middle and then three triangles off to the sides. And our triangle in the middle is 6 feet by 5.2 feet. So that's the bottom of our pyramid. And when we multiply that out, it's 1 half times 6 times 5.2. So that equals 15.6. And then each side, there's only three sides this time because they're surrounding a triangle, not a square. So each side is the height is 8 feet, and the base is 6 feet. So that's 1 half times 6 times 8, which equals 24, and there's 3 of those. So we add up the area of those faces, and the area of the bottom plus the area of each of the sides is 87 Point six, So the surface area is 87.6 square feet. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the on your own problems 1 through 6. And they are also on pages 370 through 371 of your textbook. Show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember, to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson, you must complete your exit slip, come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed, and be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have for the teacher, and always have a good attitude. We'll see you next time in class.